relation to a sale with offensively dishonoring mm -hmm. or contentious speech or action. To treat with scornful abuse or offensive disrespect. <laughs> to offer indignity to, to affront, to outrage. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not Marilyn Van Proyen. <laughs> but as the brother of Susan Bowers, I'm outraged. <laughs> I'm outraged that Mike would say that he's receiving moral support from my sister. Now, for those in Rotary that think that they don't, um, they don't have a problem, they do. Yes. And for four squares of denomination, you do have a problem. <laughs> um, there is something about these nonprofit uh -huh, corporations and government. Uh -huh. Now, my first thought was it must be these. Um, could you get me all the paycheck withdrawals, the deductions from every state and federal employee? Yes. Uh -huh. Where they have the dues taken out. And for you, Batiste, in Washington State Patrol? Yes. Chief of the Washington State Patrol. <laughs> um, are you an employee of the state and do you have more uh -huh, of an obligation to expose fraud, waste, and abuse? Yes. As law enforcement. Oh, because I think that the Washington State Patrol, all of them, yes, are going to get sued for insulting me. Now, obviously, if you want to refuse to enforce the laws, yeah. You can't uh, refuse uh, to do your responsibilities as employees of the state. Yes. And for you to sit there every day and say, well, we're just not going to do anything. Now you're getting sued for insulting me as a citizen of the United States. When I emailed so many of those in the state patrol. Yes. About the fraud of issuing court orders that have been used to abuse myself and my sons. Yes. The waste of spending money where you had no proof of service before having court hearings. <coughs> and then the waste of all these lawsuits that you're going to get. Poop. Because it's just like a recall of a product. Yes. I, as a consumer, right, found out that you mm -hmm, violated the laws. <laughs> and when you did that, you caused me assault in the second degree, agony or torture. Oh. <laughs> now, for those that want to misprison these kinds of felonies, uh, a Batiste, yes. You can have, well, let's see, if it's 10 years imprisonment and or $20,000 fine, yes. And I get all the fines, yes. Uh, you can have five years in prison, right now. Because your stupid Washington State Patrol did not consider being the actual employees of the state. See, you thought that your first priority was the enforcement of the laws? Yes. But I would say your first priority as a state employee, yes, is to blow the whistle on any fraud, waste, or abuse. Mm -hmm. What's first, uh, the employee or the badge? Oh. Well, when we get to suing, okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to define the individual that was a citizen mm -hmm, before uh, applying for employment. <laughs> then we're going to define the employee, yes, that became a due-paying member of a union. <laughs> yes, we are. And then we're going to look at the employee that became a member of the union that was given the actual authority of the law to enforce the laws. Yes. And then we're going to look at those payroll deductions that you... Mm -hmm, paid into any charity of this great state in every state of the United States. <laughs> now, what was it again? Mm -hmm. The United Way. That's right. <laughs> Did you know that I documented right now? Mm -hmm. Give me all of the approved charities mm -hmm. that can receive payroll deduction. Yes. Uh, into their charitable uh, purposes. Yes. Were you as an employee? Uh-huh are required by the state to blow the whistle. Oh. Now, is that an employee as uh, as the chief of the Washington State Patrol mm -hmm. or as uh, the employee of the state of Washington? <laughs> now, when I sue you, yes, for the insult mm, that you have offensively dishonored uh -huh, and your contemptuous action of refusing to be the whistleblower that you should have been, <laughs> I would say that you can't contribute any of your actual income as an employee of the state <laughs> to any charity when you refuse um, to do your responsibility as a whistleblower. <laughs> <laughs> now I know it's <laughs>